Yo, hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Nice portaloo in the background there. I've been absolutely frothing and buzzing about today for quite a while, so I stayed at Ben Deacon's house last night, who's behind me, professional mountain bike media overlord. Um, he welcomed me into his arms and his house last night, which was very nice. I stayed there, and the whole plan was, today I'm coming to ride Windhill Bike Park, which is where I've just arrived, but as you can see, I'm absolutely caked in mud. My bike's disgusting in the back of the van, and the reason is we stopped off at one of Ben's local uh, bike parks called, well, it's not a bike park, is it? It's just no, like, it's just, a woods. it's just the woods that some of the boys have done some insane digging in called Pud Puddle Town? Puddle Town Forest. Puddle Town Forest, and it didn't half live up to its name. There were puddles <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you did about four runs, and I'm covered in mud but we're now at Windhill and that's the important thing because I'm meeting up with Nicky Wiles who's a fellow Marin team athlete rider he's unbelievably talented on a bike and I haven't ridden with him in months so it's super exciting that we're both at the same place today we're gonna have a session and it's gonna be sick I can't wait to show you what Windhill's all about it's a insane bike park that's got tabletop step down step ups jumps trickable jumps big berms, small berms, slam berms. It's a wicked place that you've got to check out. However, it's a three hour drive for me. So I'm keen to get the bike out of the van. Going to get out of the stable beast now, get it going. I'm on the uh, wall fridge today. We've got GoPros, we've got cameras, we've got people to hold cameras, so it's going to be sick. Okay, so Windhill Bike Park, as I said, is pretty ultimate. Um, there's a step up here, which we're going to have a little session on. Um, with Deeks, he's got changed into his second pair of Power Rangers, <laughs> Power Rangers <laughs> equipment. <laughs> And, and Nicky's obviously dre dressed properly for the day, darker colours, Marin jersey, he's on the attack trail, I'm on the wolf ridge, we won't go on too much about what Deeks is riding, he's, <laughs> he's already had enough limelight. So we're going to have a step up session, and I did a step up video at Woburn where I got really close to my mate Glenn, we're going to do a bit of that again, get close to each other, do some flips, and then just make our way around the bike park. As I said, we've got GoPros, so we'll do some trains, show you what the tracks are like. It's a really kind of like versatile bike park windhill you can start from blue runs red runs where everything's rollable and make your way up to some massive road gaps down there so it's pretty ultimate if you live in this part of the country i check it out so it's kind of a bike park check today's video deeks is going to go first and then i'm going to follow him but leave a bit of a gap because i'm going to have to pedal to get speed for a backflip and then nicky wiles is the man with the camera on his head right now and he's going to go at the back and hopefully capture all the action yeah. I wasn't that close. I could literally see Nicky as I went upside down. You like make eye contact with the guy behind you after looking at the guy in front of you. It's quite weird being in the middle of a train doing a flip. But I think we can get closer, can't we? Yeah. All right. Love we'll a bit closer. of man and man, you do, don't you? Attempt number two is going on my helmet now because I'm hoping as I ride up the takeoff, it's going to see Deeks in front of me. And as I'm upside down, it'll see Nicky, then back to Deeks. So you kind of get in the full kind of friendship experience here, front to back to front. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> right behind me, Nicky. Let's have it. Yeah. Yes. I definitely saw both of you in my eyes. Sick. Bosh. Bosh. So, I'm on the red track, which is definitely my favorite track here. It's actually all really rollable, as you can see. Like, you can jump this. The berms are nice and steep. There's tabletops with small ramps, but you can roll them. So this track's really kind of good for everyone. The reason we're riding this is, it's really open. I'm gonna film loads of GoPro stuff. As you can see, it's on top of my head. And I'll follow Nikki, I'll follow Deeks, and we're gonna make some cool GoPro footage. But let me show you this track, so. There's like long linking berms up there, a step down, a berm here, over a tabletop, way more berms, but it goes honestly like all the way down that hill and as far as you can see that's still this red track. So it's a lot of riding, a lot of digging's gone into this to make all the tabletops real nice, all the ramps are sick. So we're going to have loads of fun on this trail. Um, hope you like the GoPro stuff, I'm going to put some chesty and some helmet cam in.
love that. Nicky's just shown us something pretty special. So he's come off this step down, which is actually quite big, landed in manual the whole way through the bomb hole, up and over this next roller. So obviously we've all asked him to do it again and we're gonna film it, but he's, he's definitely the manual master. Oh, <laughs> he's got this. Yes, Nicky. Oh, <laughs> it gets hard when you start coming uphill, doesn't it? I don't envy you trying this. Third time lucky? Third time. Third so, time. so this go then? This go, yeah, pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yeah. That is wicked! Right, so we've just, we've just come from up there and further down the track you get, it really starts to open up and you get some big tabletops. You get like twin lips, so on one side you've got a big lip and then a slightly smaller gap the other all the way through. So you'd start off jumping these ones on the right hand side and when you get it all figured out you'd work your way up to the left. Which is a really nice way of building bike parks, it gives the, the like progression for all riders to get up to bigger jumps without riding new tracks, it's, it's really nice. My camera battery is definitely going to die so if it all becomes just GoPro footage for the rest of the video that's why. But these jumps are sick so let's get onto these, do some suicide no handers, tuck no handers. I'm stoked that there's sunshine today. Phone's going off. Yes boys. Yes. That's ringing. <laughs> that last bit is ringing. Yeah, De yeah. It is getting dark now, but Deacon's been going on about a track all day. So we're in this big jump area that we started in by the step up. There's a big pro line down there. But Deeks really loves this kind of more technical line that runs through the middle. Flat out, corners, any jumps you can sort of roll. So that's all good. No, you can't roll, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, real flat out, fun. And uh, yeah, come check it out. So these tracks aren't rollable, you have to be able to do the jumps and the gaps, but because there's like roots and more exposed corners, it's a bit more advanced. And for Deeks, who's training to be a downhill racer still at the age of 31, um, this is the perfect track for him to hone his skills. So I'm going to follow him down and see what it's all about. So this track's going to be sloppy, it's going to be messy, it's going to be rooty. It's going to be fun. But this is your bag, right? Oh, it's so loose! Yes. Oh, this is awesome. This is wicked. Woo! Yeah. The GoPro's caked in mud. That track is crazy good, isn't it? It's really sweet, it's like a roller coaster. For the young kids, do you want to ex explain who Jim Davidge is? Like Jim Davidge is literally a dirt jump legend. I always used yeah. to look up to him. All the DVDs I grew up watching, Jim Davidge would have a section in with people like Steve Gill, Sam Johnson. So he is an absolute legend and he still rides enduro bikes. And he's going to do a cannonball, which is an old school trick. So this is sick for me watching this. Cannonball is both feet off, both hands off, but both hands holding the saddle. So it's like, as far as 
coordination of all four extremities go. It's uh, pushing the limits. He'd make a great gym there. Oh, shit! Oh! oh my god! You've already had kids, haven't you? <laughs> Look at the ankle. Oh no. You've got another one in you before the swelling. Before the swelling sets in. Oh, there's no swelling, sir. You've got this, Jim. Yes! Boss! That is so awesome! Yeah, dude. How'd that feel? <laughs> yeah, good, man. That's so cool. That's a proper old school trick done properly, isn't it? It looks cool when you've got spirit level arms as well. It makes it look bigger. <laughs> so a few little facts about Windhill before you come. A day's riding costs 10 pounds. They've got a tuck shop with sort of like teas, coffees, chocolate bars, crisps, which is cool. It doesn't have an uplift, so you can't get driven up the hills. So you have to push up, or if you've got an e-bike, you pedal up on that. Um, what else? In terms of weather, this is always quite important. If you want to check the weather before you come, it did rain last night, but today we've still had an awesome day. So don't worry too much about wet weather. Obviously, if it's dry, it would be better. But yeah, we've had a sick day in the wet. It can be windy here, so check the wind. But generally, this is an all conditions, all year round, awesome bike park. You're going to have a lot of fun at, no matter what ability. So £10, buy your food, have a sick ride, ride all the tracks. I hope I've done a good job of explaining that this place is awesome. This bike park is on the grounds of Longleat Safari Park. So we were up on the top rolling just now, ready to drop in. You can hear lions roaring in the park, which is insane. So quite a cool little thing. And that's where it is in the country, Longleat Safari Park. So bring the kids, they can have a day out, you can have a day on the bike. Yeah, 